Hello, welcome to this short demonstration video that's going to show you how to connect to your Shobi and Socrative accounts. If you've used Socrative by itself or any other quizzing platforms before, then you know that some of the coordination and implementation of these platforms can be difficult. Students can type in any name they want, you don't know which students have missed the quiz, and quiz results don't necessarily line up with your gradebook. The Shobi and Socrative integration looks to resolve all of these issues. Not only will names be rostered automatically to your class list, but quiz results will write back directly into the Shobi gradebook, and you'll be able to get a, a full view of the entire class's results. The integration will also close the loop on Shobi uh, student assessment by allowing you to share each student's Socratic quiz results with them directly in Shobi so they can review their work, self-correct answers they may have gotten wrong, and you can also easily provide additional feedback right on their quiz using Shobi's annotation tools. Before you get started with connecting your Shobi and Socratic accounts, there are three things you need to do first. Uh, so first, you need to make sure that both of your accounts are upgraded to Pro. On the Shobi side, you can double check that by opening up your profile and looking for the little Pro badge next to your name. And on the Socrative side, you can double check in the bottom right corner that you have the orange star icon and the Your Pro sign. You can also open your profile and head into the Accounts tab and review uh, your Pro license information. So once you've confirmed that you're upgraded to Pro in both platforms, the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have a Shobi class ready to connect your Socrative account into. So you can see in my Shobi account here, I have multiple different classes already created. Now what you're going to do when you connect your accounts together is you're going to link a specific Shobi class to a Socrative room. So that's the third and final thing you need to do before you set up your integration, is ensure that you've created a Socrative room in your Socrative account. So over on the Socrative side here, if I click into the Rooms tab, you can see I have a whole bunch of rooms created. So any of these rooms can be connected to your Shobi account. Although one thing to note is that this very top one here, the default room, cannot be connected to Shobi in the integration because the default room doesn't support student rosters. So just make sure that you've created at least one additional Socrative room in your Socrative account before you try and connect to your Shobi account together. So once you have both of your accounts ready to connect um, together, you can do that all on the Shobi side. So again, you're going to click into your profile and look for the Connect to Socrative button. If you click on that, you're going to get a pop-up window in the middle of your Shobi page, and this is going to prompt you to log into your Socrative account. You click Sign in there, you'll receive a few confirmations just to confirm that the connection is going to go ahead. And once that's finished, you can go through a short tutorial on the Shobi side that explains Socrative for you, and you can just click Connect there. You can see now that once my uh, accounts are connected together in my Shobi account, this Socrative button has updated to indicate my Socrative connection. So if you click through to that, this is where you can access um, disconnecting your Socrative account or making any changes that you might need to. Now that you have your two accounts connected, you need to actually connect a Shobi class with a Socrative room. So you're going to click into the Shobi class that you'd like to connect, and then click on the wrench icon and go into your class settings. From here you can see a button at the very bottom called Connect Socrative Room. And this is going to open a similar pop-up. And all you need to do is select from any of your available Socrative rooms from within your Socrative account and connect it into your Shobi class. So I'm going to connect this English class. You can see here that you've got a brief indicator of the details of each room so you can see which ones are available to be connected. And you'll get a confirmation of that. And once you have a Shobi class and a Socrative room connected, it's automatically going to create a copy of that student roster from the Shobi side into your Socrative account. So all of the student names uh, and their access is going to be consistent between both platforms. Once that's completed, you can see that in your class settings on the Shobi side, you also have an indicator of which specific Socrative room is connected in there. And again, that's where you'd go if you ever want to disconnect the room from your Shobi class. On the Socrative side, if I just refresh the account here, you can see that I now have this little link icon next to this particular um, room in Socrative, which means that this particular room is now linked to Shobi. So you can see an indicator of that there, and if you click on it, you can confirm which Shobi class it's connected to. So again, all of the students that are members of your Shobi class are now added into the roster in your Socrative room, um, but that material is only going to be visible to you on the Shobi side. Now that you have your accounts connected, you can actually launch your Socrative quizzes right from within Shobi. So if I navigate into a particular assignment, 
in the shared items, you can click the plus icon just like when you're adding any other material into Shobi. And you see I've got this option for a quiz right down at the bottom here. So it's going to open a pop-up window and this is the same view of all of the quizzes that you have in your Socrative side um, as you would have when you're logged into Socrative directly. So I can navigate through all the folders that I may have set up in Socrative to find the quiz that I'd like to have my students um, take part in. And you can go through all of the delivery method and um, quiz delivery setup steps just the same as you would on uh, a typical Socrative quiz. So those the way that you'd like them. And then as soon as all those settings are determined, it launches the quiz in your Shobi account. So you can see I have a few different quizzes that are in this particular class here. All these gray ones are past quizzes that have been completed already. And this orange one is a currently active quiz. So if the quiz shows up as orange in Shobi, it means it's currently in progress and any of your students who log into their Shobi accounts will be able to go through and take that quiz. The gray ones are no longer available to take, but you can see all of the results of those quizzes and uh, each student's individual quiz reports um, after they've been completed. So there is this little ellipses button here where you can access the additional features included in the integration. So for example, I can click through to view the results dashboard, which is going to be just the same dashboard as you would see on the Socrative side when you're running a standard quiz over there. This is a test account, so I didn't have students actually complete the quiz, but you can see what that would look like. And then just close out and you can see that you're still in the Shobi app. And you also have the option to distribute scores and reports in Shobi as well. So what that means is if you're distributing scores, then the final results that your students received in their Socrative quiz will be written into the Shobi gradebook. And if you distribute reports, then each student is going to receive a PDF copy of their um, quiz results directly from Socrative into their assignment folder. So that'll be personal to that student. So the student would be able to, as I mentioned previously, review all of their work. They can annotate on top of that PDF if they want to make any corrections to it. And you also have the opportunity to do that as well as the teacher. So I'll go through and have one of my student uh, demo accounts complete a Socrative quiz. So you can see what the grades and the feedback will look like. So once you're ready to end your Socrative quiz, if you just click into the view results, so you can see I've had one student go in and complete all of the questions, so their results are shown up in this dashboard here. I'm only going to have one of the demo student accounts go through and complete that for uh, this video. So I'm just going to select finish here to end the quiz. So you can see now this has changed into that gray end state. If I click into it, I can come back in and see the results at any time. So this information is always going to be available uh, to you regardless of when the quiz was run. And I now can also go in and distribute both scores and reports for this quiz. So again, I just had the one student complete this for this demo, so I'm only going to receive that information for the one student account. But you just click on both of those buttons as you need them, and you'll be able to see uh, once it's confirmed that it's moved all that information over into Shobi for you. There we go. And then if you ever click on that again, you'll be able to confirm as well that you've already um, distributed that information. So if we head over to the one particular student that I had complete that activity, this is Joey Gladstone's uh, student assignment folder. So you can see that just now he's received two new uh, items into this folder, the first being the results from his Socrative quiz and the second being a copy of the quiz itself. So as I mentioned, you can click right into this PDF document. You can access all of the annotation tools if you'd like to mark this up, have the student correct themselves, provide any additional feedback. And this is a really great way to, again, close the loop on student assessment by allowing the students to review their work and have access to that material for further review and to prompt further discussions of their learning. So there you go. That is the Shobi and Socratic integration.